This is the plaintiff, Kia Conway. She says she went to the defendant to get Senegalese braid twists in her hair. They fell out almost immediately, and she wants a refund. She wasted seven hours in the chair at the salon. She wants the $180 back it cost her and is suing for just that today. This is the defendant, Claudine Tahori. She says she told the plaintiff the twists wouldn't last very long because she had short hair. The plaintiff insisted on doing it anyway, then a few days later demanded a refund. Well, she's sorry, but she doesn't do someone's hair for an event or function and then give a refund three days later. She's accused of causing a hairy situation. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiff got braid twists in the defendant's salon. Uh, the twists fell out almost immediately, but the defendant says the problem was the hair was too short. It's the case of the twisted sister. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Ms. Conway, you are suing Claudine's hair braiding, represented here by the owner, Claudine Tahori, for $180 refund of what you paid her to put extensions, braids in your hair, mm -hmm. that according to you didn't hold up. Talk to me. So on Tuesday, July 28th, I called her shop and asked her if she was able to do my hair that morning. She said yes. I live about 30 miles south of her. Have you had your, really? That, okay, yeah. That okay. Yes. Have you had your hair done there before? Years ago, I used to go to her. Okay. So she said yes, so I came there. Did you have a particular event? Well, I was going to my uncle's funeral the next day. It wasn't, okay. you know, for that. I just wanted to get some braids in my hair, something different. Okay. Um, so I get to her shop. Um, she greets me, you know, almost immediately, um, has me sit in her chair, and I asked her specifically at that time, because my hair is much shorter than when I used to go to her, and I said, are you able to braid my hair? Her exact words to me, yes, yes, I can do it, I can do it. So I sit down. Claudine starts braiding my hair initially, and she started in the back. Uh, my hair was much longer than it is now, but my hair, she started braiding the back. Then another lady comes in and starts doing my hair. And then another lady comes in and starts helping her do my hair. Either way, the whole process took about seven hours. Wow, I, I shudder to think of how long it would have taken if the other two hadn't joined in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and it was very tight. It was very painful. They're both Have you ever had your homes. hair braided before? Yep. So after, you know, the seven hours of getting my hair done, I went home. The next day I had to go to Maryland for my uncle's funeral. So as I'm driving down the turnpike, I run my fingers through my hair and one of them is in my hand. So I'm like, okay, let me go down here, do what I have to do, and then I'll come back and have her repair that, you know, when I get back. So then I attend my uncle's funeral and wake, all that. The next day, even more came out, but this time it was more than one. It was like maybe two or three. So, okay, I call her and I'm like, Claudine, the braids are coming out. You know what I mean? Is and this there... is day what, two? This is day two now. So I'm like, the braids are coming out. Are you able to fix them and give me a partial refund? Oh, I can give you $20 back is what she told me. And then you can drive back up here and get it fixed. That was fine. The following day, even more had came out. So then I'm like, I'm going to call her back and I want a full refund. I don't have the time or energy or gas money to keep driving 30 miles each way to get one repaired. At this rate, I'll be driving up there every day to get them repaired. So I call her and no, I'm not giving you a response. I'm not giving you a refund. I can't, I can only fix them for you. And then she hung up on me. So after that, I decided that I was just gonna take it, Bring to, court. it to court. So what yeah. do you think happened? Why do you think the hair was falling out? I told her, when she told me with this that she wants to do it, I told her the price. And I say, your hair is short. So I can do it, but you can keep longer. She says she won't do it because she had to go somewhere. Wait, you told her your hair is too it's, short. It's too short. So we can do you this You can time. do it, but... You can keep longer. You can't keep it a long time. No, long time. And after a couple of days, she called me. She said she was complaining. I said, no problem. You can come back. I'm going to fix it. And she was. She said, okay. And two days before, she called me back. She said, no, I... I don't have time to come back. I need my money back. I say, honey, I can give you your money back. Any time, any day you have time, just call me and come, I'm going to do it. Because I have in my shop, I say no refund. So You have I, a sign that says that? Yes. Do you have a picture of that? I have a sign with me. You have the sign with you? Yes. A picture of the sign or the sign? This, this, this sign. 
Well, is anybody getting their hair done now in there? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to know. No. Because they're not going to know. Because it was, it was two, so I left. I left one over there, and I, I took this one to come. No. Did she have that, that sign up That wasn't in there when went? I was there, Judge. So what are you saying? She just made I, that sign for court? I, no, no, have. not for I did court. not see. I would have seen that big my yellow phone. sign. I have some pictures. See if you have it. Photograph see if you have pictures in your phone. I didn't see that sign. Not that. Okay, we're almost out of time. Will braids fall out if hair is too short? Uh, yes, it, well, I'm suffering from that problem in the back right now. Okay, expert testimony down here, going inside the courtroom. Where was this sign, was this particular sign up? Yes. How, because there's no. no staples, there's no tape, there's no... No, no, it's not this one, because this one I have like a three copies. In any event, you were willing to fix it and you were not willing to drive out there because it started to occur to you that you may have to drive out there more than once, but did you ever go and get it fixed by somebody else? No, I ended up taking them out myself six days after having them installed. It wasn't even a full week and I had lost about 15. 15 to 20 twists had came okay. out. Okay, and do you have any proof of how many twists you lost? I have the actual twists that came out. I say. Okay, them. but you could have done that two months later. Like, did you take, didn't you take pictures? Yeah, at I have the pictures close, as well. And yeah. you took them at the time when the problem yeah. was happening? Okay. At the time. And the only way to take them out is to cut and unravel them. I have the ones still intact that came right out. Oh, I see. Yeah, like yeah, they're intact. Yeah, like yeah. they slid out of my uh, First head. of all, I have no idea why you're doing anything because you are so rocking those glasses and that short hair. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, you have the perfect face for that. You have, thank my you. middle daughter has that square face. It's perfect for the exact glasses and the exact do that oh, you have going on. You. I don't know why you would sit seven hours anywhere. <laughs> All right, so these are... Like, in order to take them out, if you're, like, taking them out of your hair, you have to cut them. Those right. are the ones that are intact. They just slid right out. Well, I, I mean, her position is not that they didn't slide out. Her position is that she told you they could because your hair's too short she, and yeah. that she warned you there would be no refunds under any circumstances, but that she would fix it. Judge... Right? Oh, That's what you're yes, saying. Judge... You don't, wait a minute. Oh. You don't doubt that they fell out. You're I, just saying, I, I told her that her hair was too short. Yeah. She said she didn't care, she, which you, you're, and you have I a disagreement to, about whether it repair. went down that way. I was ready to repair because it's not, I know her so long time ago, Send her I opened the shop, I never have problem with her. So I was ready, any customer, when the customer complained all the time, say, come back, I'm gonna fix it. I think she, she finished with her business, so now she needs the money back, that's it. I mean, these are definitely the full, Monty falling out. All right. I don't think that these should be falling out at this rate unless she warned you and you didn't care. I, I, I don't believe she warned you. I don't. Because I don't think that you'd have the hubris to come to court right. if she warned you, then you knew you were taking your risk. You would have just gone and gotten them fixed and tried to make it last as long as it can last. Right. Um, I think it probably looked more like this. Your hair is short. Yeah, is that gonna be a problem? No. I think it'll be fine. Nah, you know, like that, that's, that's how it works. Like somebody, you're there, exactly you're there to do your happened. hair. She wants to help you. She wants to make you beautiful. She wants to do, you know, nobody's, there's no disclaimer where you, you know, say, I am aware from now on when you're going to do $180 seven hour job on somebody and it's going to fall out, Man, you should make them sign the receipt yeah. and I say, I, I know I'm talking, I'm <laughs> talking, I know my hair is short and this may not last or, or something because I, I, I'm having a hard time thinking somebody's going to stand there and say, yes, let me go through all this just so I look good for this one funeral and then have it all fall out. And then all of a sudden change your mind and decide, what is she, like, she doesn't have something better to do than to come here to try to get her refund? Mm -hmm. um, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to award the entire refund back. I'm going to order part of it back. I'm ordering the defendant to pay back the plaintiff the amount of $100. That's my verdict. Thank you. Well, the defendant's out here first, the hair lady. Uh, oh, you have to, she, you get to keep some of it. Yes. Refund some of it. Fair ruling? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling so sorry for this one happened because she's one of my best customers. So, you know, I'm just saying uh, thank you and uh, everything will be fine later on. She, she maybe used to be one of your best customers. You think she still is? She, 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 she's a good girl. This one happened. Why'd they fall out? Because the hair is short. That's Why'd you put them in then? 
I told her, but she won this star. Maybe you so. should say no next time. <laughs> okay, head around this way. Yeah, I know. I wasn't joking. <laughs> should she have said no? She didn't say no. She, should when, she have? Yes, absolutely. She should have if she couldn't do the job. Absolutely, she's a professional. You mm -hmm. know. All right. She says you're one of her best customers. Yeah, used yes. to be. Yeah. You satisfied with what you got back? I am. Having to split it that way? I am. I am. I think it was pretty fair. All right, so you're going to stick with the short hair look now? Yeah, absolutely. Right, <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Kurt, you know what? The judge used something even more powerful than evidence in this case, which is common sense, that the plaintiff wouldn't have gone through all this time and trouble if the braids would have only lasted a day or two.